A Boeing representative revealed ongoing discussions between the U.S. and South Korea on upgrading Korea's F-15K Slam Eagle fleet to improve combat capabilities. Modernization will involve improving the ability to identify targets as well as guide different types of weapons. They highlighted the imminent shift towards a new model by integrating cutting-edge technology into the entire front section of the aircraft, including cockpit and radar systems. Accordingly, the F-15K Squadron will receive the new generation ANAPG-82 Active Scanning Phase Array Radar Station and bolstering its electronic warfare capabilities. According to the plan, the modernization process will begin in 2024 and continue until 2030. The total cost of this upgrade program is about $900 million. Boeing officials anticipate that once the enhancement of the F-15K is complete, the fighter jets will possess an extended operational range and improved performance, enhancing interoperability during joint U.S.-South Korea area operations. The EPAWS, a system also deployed in the latest variant of the F-15 fighter jets operated by the U.S. Air Force, represents a crucial addition to South Korea's F-15K fleet. The F-15K enhancement project signifies a substantial leap in South Korea's defense capabilities, showcasing a commitment to technological advancements and operational prowess in safeguarding the national's airspace. Currently, the Korean Air Force has 59 F-15K fighters, which form the basis of the heavy strike force and provides strike capability with Taurus 350 and Slam ER missiles. The Republic of Korea Air Force selected the F-15K Slam Eagle for its next generation fighter program in April 2002 and made its first flight in March 2005. The service life of the current F-15K fleet is expected to last until 2040 and beyond. The glass cockpit of the F-15K accommodates two crew members, including a pilot and a weapon system officer. The F-15K Slam Eagle accommodates a wide range of weapons and a payload of over 13,000 kilograms for achieving mountain strike capability. The aircraft can carry a combination of air-to-air -air weapons, including a 20mm cannon, AIM-9 Sidewinder infrared guided air-to-air -air missiles, Raytheon AIM-7 Sparrow radar guided air-to-air -air missiles, AIM-120 Advanced Medium Range Air-to-Air -air Missile, and the AGM-130 Missile. The air-to-ground weapon systems on board the F-15 include precision-guided munitions such as AGM-84D Harpoon Anti-Ship Missiles and AGM-84E Slam ER Air-to-Ground Missiles. South Korea's F-15 has been upgraded to be compatible with the Taurus 350, a Swedish German air launch cruise missile. The missile incorporates stealth technology and has an official range in excess of 500 kilometers. The F-15K is a further enhancement of the highly successful and combat-proven U.S. Air Force F-15E. The aircraft has major leading-edge technology upgrades to its systems that make it even more lethal, survivable, 
unmaintainable than the F-15E. The ANAPG-63 Active Electronically Scannery Radar fitted to the F-15K is equipped with air-to-air -air and air-to-ground capabilities. F-15K uses Link-16 fighter data link to distribute target information to other aircraft during coordinated air-to-air -air missions. The F-15K procurement also benefited South Korea's defense aviation industry. Korea Aerospace Industries were contracted to supply aircraft components, including wings and forward fuselages, for 32 to 40 F-15K aircraft of the Republic of Korea Air Force. The GPS initial navigation systems on board the F-15Ks were developed by Dusan DST. Hangwa Corporation supply hydraulic and flight control actuators, while Han Technologies provided wire harnesses. Lex Next One provided networking and avionics technology, and Samsung Thales supply electronic systems as well as radar warning receiving components.